Hello everyone, welcome to a new photo editing tutorial. This video demonstrates how to use the gradient tools for controlling the application of editing adjustments. Gradient tools define where edits are applied with seamless natural fades. For the demonstration in this video, we're using Exposure. If you don't already own Exposure, you can download the free trial from our website. Layers and layer masks provide an extra level of creative control over editing adjustments. Masks designate where the edits on that layer are applied to your photo. The gradient shapes define a mask and provide adjustable handles for smooth transitions between effects. Gradients can easily be integrated with other forms of masking. In addition to a gradient shape, you can use the brush tool to paint areas of the mask by hand. Also, the color constraint controls can be used to generate detailed masks based on the colors in your photo. We show you how in our 3D color masking deep dive video. The gradients and exposure come in three varieties. The first shape, radial, is the most flexible option. Radial gradients work in many different scenarios, such as drawing attention to the subject in portraits, or they can be used creatively for fine art images, landscapes, macro shots, and more. Click and drag the center handle to move it. Use the handles to stretch, rotate, and resize. Drag the dotted circle to adjust the transition. Remove unwanted gradient shapes with delete. Planar gradients come in two varieties, planar and half planar. Planar gradients affect the image in both directions from the center line. This shape works well in images with strong linear components like landscapes or architectural photos. Half planar gradients affect the image in only one direction. The half planar shape is a great solution for darkening an overexposed sky or selectively adding contrast on a horizon. Move the region by dragging. Control the angle of the shape with the solid line. The movable dotted lines indicate where the effect fades out completely. Note the On New Layer checkbox at the top of the Add Gradient section. With this option active, selecting any of the gradient shapes will also create a new layer, rather than applying multiple gradient shapes on the same layer. When using multiple shapes on the same layer, press Collapse to shrink the region controls. Expand collapsed regions by clicking the handle. Each gradient shape added has its own opacity control. Adjustments made to the gradient opacity control are reflected in the mask thumbnail. Notice how the second region appears gray rather than white. Click the Erase box or press Invert to reverse the mask boundaries. Remove unwanted gradient shapes with Delete. Toggle Show Mask to visualize the masked area on the large preview image in the middle of the screen. Note the red highlight. That completes our lesson on using the gradient tools in Exposure. They are great options for controlling where edits and presets are applied to images. Thanks for watching. Learn more about Exposure on our website or subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.